name is Lev Sarkisov, and in this supplementary video file, I will demonstrate the workings of the mechanical models of metal organic frameworks. The basic idea behind these models is that metal organic frameworks can be represented as rigid elements connected by flexible joints. However, the nature of the joints is important, and in case of carboxylic linkers, these joints must be represented as hinge connections. And so to construct these mechanical models, you will need simple wooden blocks like this, small furniture hinges as this one, and also super glue. So in my first example, I will consider a single phase of IRMOF1 material. So in this mechanical model, the metal organic clusters are represented as these red cubes, wooden cubes. The decarboxylic linkers are represented by these solid blue bars. These elements are connected by hinges, as shown here, and the hinges are oriented at 45 degrees to this plane. Now, if we place the structural element on the desk, as I'm doing here, actually it turns out that this structure is quite rigid and the only degrees of freedom available to it are trivial degrees of freedom, meaning that we can move or rotate the structure as a rigid body in three dimensions. However, if I take the structure of the table, it actually happens to be quite flexible, and this is demonstrated here. Okay. Now, let's try to assemble several structural elements like this, several faces like this, in a single cage of IRMOF1 material. This model is demonstrated here. Again, these are metal organic vertices connected by organic linkers. The connections are hinges and they are oriented at 45 degrees to the faces of the cage. As, and as you can see, this structure is actually mechanically quite rigid, at least within the imperfections of this model. Now, why is it rigid? Well, the reason for this is actually lies, it lies in the nature of the hinge connections. Because all the linkers are oriented at 45 degrees uh, to the faces of this cage, and hinge connections constrain the movement on the, of the linkers to the plane, the linkers can have access only to mutually exclusive degrees of freedom. And in this way, one may say, the structure locks itself in this rather inflexible mechanical assembly, as can be shown here. Okay. Now, an interesting question is, what do we need to do to make the structure flexible? Well, for this, all you need to do is just orient this, 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 and this linker so that the hinges are parallel to each other. In fact, this structure would be very similar to a mechanical model of MIL-47 or MIL-53 materials. And this is the next model that I would like to demonstrate. In MIL-47 structure, the, the chains of metal oxygen atom, metal and oxygen atoms, are uh, represented in this model as this solid red bar, and again these red bars are connected by the carboxylic linkers, uh, represented here as these blue bars. Now within this model, all the hinges are oriented in parallel to each other that allows concerted movement of the whole structure, making it very flexible. And this is similar to so-called Weinreck explanation of the mechanical flexibility of MIL-47 and MIL-53 materials. My next example 
considers yet another flexible material called MIL-88. This material consists of five metal organic clusters and they are connected by six organic linkers. As you can see in this mechanical model, one can see the single element, structural element of MIL-88 as a bipyramid with this apex point. Now, because in, in the foundation of the bipyramid, these three clusters are not constrained in their movement, the structure is quite flexible, and it can flex, as I'm demonstrating here, and this is a mechanical explanation behind very large swelling phenomena in MIL-88 family of materials. Finally, I would like to focus on an example of a relatively rigid material. It is QBTC or HQST1, it is a fairly well-known metal organic framework. In this material, the organic linker is trimacic acid, and so it is actually connected to three metal organic uh, clusters. In this mechanical representation, we use this blue solid uh, triangles to represent the organic linker, and it is connected to these red cubes that represent paddle wheel metal organic clusters, copper clusters, in the actual material. Now, as you can see, although the structure features a number of hinge connections, it is actually mechanically quite rigid, as I'm demonstrating here. And this is the end of this presentation. Thank you very much.